Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is Angular testing full tutorial series where we are trying to cover multiple frameworks and learn all these frameworks from scratch. Today is the first part of learning Jasmine where we will write how to write, how we learn how to write tests in Jasmine. This is assuming that we don't know anything. We'll learn from scratch with an empty mind. All right, this is part seven of the Angular testing series. I have also covered other Angular series in the channel like Angular 9 full tutorial series, Angular CRUD series and Angular testing series, the current one. If you really want to learn and master Angular, this is, these are the playlists that you should check out. The links are in the description box below. To work with any uh, Angular testing project, you'll need a sample project. If you have one, you can use that. If you don't have it, I have covered uh, and built a product um, called feature module in as part of angular CRUD tutorial series make sure you download it and refer to episode number one of this series where i have taught you how to learn how to set up and run this sample project in your local the github link is also in the description box below make sure you take it and run it in your local all right so first thing first since this is our first episode of writing jasmine test a lot of you are beginners and new to this particular framework and want to learn and master it i will tell you that let's focus on basics first okay do not jump do not hurry up into learning the complex ones right away it will it will seem complicated it you will be intimidated don't do that stay with me i will cover each and every aspect face by face step by step for you right Let's learn how to write basic tests today and we'll keep incrementing it, we'll keep growing it, right? That's the only way to learn it. Otherwise, if you refer to any other thing, they will jump you right into complex and you end up losing interest. Let's not do that. So let's learn some basic concepts in Jasmine first, right? Before we write test, before we start coding, there are some basic things that you should be aware of, right? So you will come across words like describe, specs, expect, and matcher. These are the four important concepts in Jasmine framework, right? So what is describe? Describe means it's a test suite which begins with a call to the global Jasmine function describe with two parameters, a string and a function, right? So think of it this way. Uh, let me make some notes for you, right? So Jasmine framework, right? Obviously we know that um, Jasmine is a the free and open source BDD framework, right? Which is nothing but behavior driven development framework, right? Now, Jasmine consists of a few important concepts like first is describe, right? So this here, this is nothing but it's a global call to global. It will call a global function called describe of Jasmine, right? What it does is it takes two parameters, right? And this think of this as a suite suite of test scripts, right? So it's like a group. You give a name. You can say that I'm testing. Let's say, for example, you will say I want to test. For example, you will say describe, right? What you'll say I want to test um, login component. Right, so this is one. Uh, this is your high-level definition of this describe or the suit, the group name, and then it will take a callback. Right, it's a function here. It uh, it will take a function which will have a callback. So inside this, you will write our test scripts. Right, those are called it statements. Right, it statements are nothing but specs. Right. So what are specs? Specs are nothing but a small unit test case that you want to write to execute, right? So that those are called specs and those are those are called by writing it function, it function, which is again a global function of Jasmine, right? So we have describe, we have specs, which is specs is nothing but unit test case, right? A smallest unit test case, you can call it test spec, which is written using it function, it function. The name itself is it function. So you'll write like this inside. If I have to explain it here, we will write again same way that check login screen. And then again, it will take a function, right? So this is how you write your test spec in Jasmine. It will have a describe. It will have a it statement. 
now remember there can be multiple statements inside a describe right so what it means i can have this now i can have multiple it statements like this this entire thing will become your test case right so when we said spec file this is how you write your test file in jasmine it will have multiple specs these are test specs that will do some testing here you will say check login screen here i'll say check login input element here i'll say check login heading right so you see everything we are writing here is to test the login component what are the different checks we are doing is here right so describe and its statements now i will keep adding to this method so i let me move it here right now the next thing we do is the next thing you should know in is expect right so expectations are built with the function expect which takes a value i call the actual right so what happens you have written a grouping i say i want to test a login component and inside that you wrote multiple specs right now inside each of this it statement you will have something called expect right so what you are telling here is you are saying expect the value which is actual value which you are getting from this particular test case right and there is also something called matcher matcher is nothing but what it takes the expected value so you'll say to be let's say you are saying this value to to be 10 right so let's say i have a variable i'll say uh, tax equal to right equal to 10 and here i'll say expect tax to be 10 right so now when you run this test case this will pass why because here it will come and say check login tax right it will come here it will assign the value 10 to this variable and here you are checking which is nothing but asserting right asserting the value so here you are doing expect tax to be 10 now there are multiple things like to be equal to to be truthy we'll learn all about that don't worry about that now so when you run this it would give you pass but if i say some calculations happened and this value came to be 15 so now this test case has failed right so this is exactly how you write jasmine test in angular if you understand these how i have written it here how i have described it here you are good to start writing your angular test without any knowledge anything beyond this right so go through this screen again go through how i have started writing each and everything and then you should be able to start writing your own test without any issue this is a sample code i will show you how to run that now right so first thing you can take any component that you want to test right orders list order any component that you might have in your sample project open spec file right comment off everything comment off every single thing right just comment off every single thing right so it's a empty you can say it's an empty test case right there is nothing that is active what happened here let's just check file should end with a new line okay all right so I have commented off the entire test list order spec file there is nothing now let's write a simple test case first like basic right so first I told you describe so here we'll say hello from so here we'll write hello or say testing first jasmine test script okay and then it's a function right it's a callback so arrow function close it right that's it now space okay so that's how you write your describe statement given name it can be any name that you want you can say hello from you can you can give any name you want doesn't matter followed by a function so i am writing arrow function because i will get a callback right 
and then what we'll do we'll write a simple asset okay nothing else so we will do it again so what we'll do here is we will write an it statement here i'll say first test script right again it will same way it will again take a method and it would return you arrow function so just define an arrow function here and you're done right so here we will now write console.log i am i am inside inside the inside the test script right now i'm going to write f describe so that it's the this is the only one that will run now when i do ng test right so i have covered that earlier f describe if you have missed out please do check out the previous episodes right we have learned about f describe which is nothing but focused test script right so if you want to run only one one unit test you can write just f describe it will only run this particular uh, test now so when i see now it should give me success message let's see that In the meanwhile if you like the video give a thumbs up to the video tell me how you are progressing how you are finding it how you are learning it all right it says incomplete no specs found randomized with seed all right so let's see it says zero executed uh, let's see now that's because uh, we did not initiate it with the same name so let's do that okay so here i have something that i added for testing purpose i'm going to delete them i don't know i don't need them anymore so this i was trying with new new stuff for you guys all right let's see what it says okay the list here okay so it says somewhere it's missing cannot find module in highlight spec where is it highlight okay i deleted that also in app source app just a minute let me clean up some of the code uh, okay so now it says you see here it says total one executed one success right so here you see um, it says um, all right uh, so the script that it says is list order you see here list order uh, let me list order component first test script right so you see here clearly it has spec has no expectations right it says the spec has no expectation which is correct because we did not add any expectation so let's add that now so uh, here i am saying expect 10 to be 10 right it doesn't do anything it's just positive just to show you how it works right so now again it will give us one test passed right so you see it says one success one passed and you can see here it says green that means it has passed now okay right so this is how we can get our details like this says first test has passed right first test is this is green that means it has passed now similarly uh, let's add one more and load this time with a variable right so what i'm going to do i'm going to define a variable and i'm going to say uh, let, let's just follow along so i'm going to say tax equal to 10 into 10 into 2 right so what this will give me is 20 right now let's try and compare this here right so here now i'm saying okay so this let's say const right so here i'm saying let const now the, i want to fail it because now the value here is 20 but i'm expecting it to be 10 so obviously this should fail right so let's see so it says total one success right let's see so it says expected 20 to be 10 
which is correct because we were trying to fail it right so this is how you write any jasmine test script right this is the core fundamental if you understand this you can write any big or small or any test case if you understand the foundation if you understand the fundamental correct i hope this will set tone for you to understand the basics in the next we'll start writing complicated test spec using angular which provides before each after we will learn about triple a patterns and much much more this is your starting point if you understand this episode well the coming episodes will be extremely smooth easy for you do let me know how you find them if you have any doubts drop in your comments get your fundamentals correct don't jump into learning complicated things right i am right here to help you in each step thank you so much for joining see you in the next episode